to make it to just ask you just to stop because it is such a big fan base and it's full of hatred and it's really it's really dark hatred it's so scary that the harassment is so scary i watched a show and you were fucking fake after we had these conversations i will go on youtube and i will fucking talk about you so much and say how fucking an asshole you are and if i watch this back just know that i have a voice on fucking youtube and guess what your instagram will have to be shut down every boyfriend i've ever had has had to shut their instagram down from the hate comments every single one of them you know everyone's who i am I've always been there for Trisha Paytas from day one. I've been there through everything. The ups and downs with blasting our relationship online. Me and Trisha were friends. I fucking stood by her time and time again. I've had people wish my death. I've had people threaten me. I had people wish death on my mom so she wouldn't have to live with a freak like me for a son. I was really hurt. I was mortified in front of thousands of people. I was made fun of. I don't even know why. I don't know what I did to deserve this. This hurt a lot more. What I went through with Trisha. And I'm so sick of people asking all these years later. I'm gonna be real. She's a liar and she's manipulative. Please, whatever you do, don't let Trisha Paytas know that you know me. The minute she knows that you know me, she's going to find a way to manipulate a situation. She understands the power she has on YouTube. She knows that she can literally destroy someone's inner soul with her YouTube channel. I don't want to have any ties with her. She lied about me. And I got all this hate and all this backlash. That's not true. That is a lie. It just really hurts me because it's a, a ding in my character. You know what I'm saying? That didn't even happen. I'm just gonna say, Trisha Paytas, like you have your own problems please stop worrying about mine please stop talking about me you're not a very nice person Just... you can't say keep my name out of your mouth when your whole career and livelihood is based on social media it's a bit much to be even you know shitting on a six-year-old girl and first of all i couldn't care less like i couldn't care less it's so fun amy is such an idiot amy's a great guy people were sending him death threats and like harassing I get death him threats every day you put yourself online don't be on camera don't have your own youtube channel she was texting me already planning her video she was like well i'm gonna post this video like i wasn't even done with the relationship this constant loop of like wait a minute but what about this and it's like seriously so fucking intense dude angry with me on behalf of trisha trying to dox me threatening me uh making fun of how i looked they were talking about how i was a diversity hire at buzzfeed this is a person who I considered, you know, family, a close friend, someone I trusted. I really feel like she tried to ruin my life. Please, you guys, stop. It is honestly ruining our family. I, I please need you guys to stop. If someone asks me, I stop. This is why you are such a dangerous person, especially to be close with, because you'll take <laughs> something that I've told you, and you'll take something that somebody told you in confidence and you'll use it. You'll weaponize it against them. That's that, not true. That's bro. what you just did. No. On him. You want me to weaponize you? Because I have things I could actually weaponize but you with and I'm I don't. About. No, but I don't do it. There's certain You things, just did it. Most of those, there's certain things about him I would and never say. you just say. threatened me with doing it more. That's because why you're you, so I dangerous. You can't do that. No, I didn't. Because you do I that to say, everybody. I know personal things about you. And do I say it? No. You literally. Once, but sorry. why do you think that like all your friendships, like a lot of your friendships go I've to shit? I've had friends for so many and years. And all of your boyfriends and relationships. That's what I'm worried boyfriends about Moses is that she's got a Rolodex of all this shit on you. And then, and then when shit goes wrong, she's going to try to ruin shit your fucking life. Shit has gone wrong and I don't expose stuff I know. Like, it's Well, like, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Well, you did accuse him of fucking kind of flirting with underage girls. No, that wasn't it. That was not. Well, that was kind of this? fucked up. No, we. You're like, oh, I had a fight. I'm gonna accuse him of being with underage First girls. First, I'm not accusing him of everything. The I'm DMs just... were out there. They were publicly put out there. Yeah, all they, the DMs. Yeah, they were. They were posted by your alt account, and it had like three likes. <laughs> we know that that wasn't. It literally me. had it's three likes. <laughs> oh my God, mine's more iconic. We'll see by the TikTok views. Should we make up or are we hating? I'm stuff? literally over it. I'm so over it. Really? I don't think everyone breaks up with me over this. Bye. Why would Moses break up over a podcast? Because I don't like his family. And I don't like hanging out with you guys. And you guys are awful. And that's it. And yeah, I said it. <laughs> but you liked me when we started. No, I was trying to be nice and fun. But I actually don't really care that much for you. Really? You never liked me? Nope. I Fake. Can't oh. You're the next to be canceled. You really are. I just want to make sure y'all heard what she oh, Hi, everybody, by the way. I'm back. I like starting these out with clips to tell you what their direction I'm going. And yes, I'm back here with this shit. Uh, did you notice what the, she said right there? You're the next to be canceled. And I started this off with what she does.
which she goes on and says all this shit about people. She says that people should expect it if they're public figures. But the minute something happens to her, she thinks she's going to go post eight videos on Twitter like she's having some kind of mental breakdown. And then everybody should stop and listen to what she's asking, even though she's she doesn't care to run people's lives. But I just don't know what she said to him right there. Be upset. Back that up. Listen to this. Really? You never liked me? Nope. I can't. Oh. You're the next to be canceled. You're You're the next to be canceled. I'm not. I'm fine. So have fun. Good luck on the baby making. And see that shit. Good luck on the baby making the eye roll. Can you imagine what she would say if they said the same thing back to her? Again, this bitch has no feelings. I- I'm sorry, but if it, it, there's something, anything that I think she feels is she feels it in her wallet. Thank you. Mm. I feel that you're really upset. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Mm. You're shutting down. No, I'm good. What else do you want to talk about? Let's talk. Should we resolve this issue? No, I'm over it. it. I'm so over it. I'm you just so said let's over talk. It. I'm not doing the next episode for real. I'm over it. You just said let's talk. Because you said, oh, you're shutting down. I'm like, I'll talk to you. Talk. Hmm. You got me for 10 more minutes. <laughs> nah, well, we're over. We're over time. Look, yeah. it's too far. This episode went 20 minutes too long. Oh, some good content there, too. Hmm. Hmm. Anything else? That's it. Moses, do you want to have anything to say? End it. Moses is warning me. Well, just because I'm quitting this show, don't fire Moses because of me. Why would I fire Moses because of you? I don't know. People be doing that. You overestimate your influence. Oh, I know how you guys are with him. Oh, my God. Trisha did this. Oh, my God. Trisha did that. Are, are, are we should be scared. So I want to get to this one because it, it, watching somebody come on a podcast and trash your wife. I mean, like, this is what she says about this man's wife. My mom would be like, oh, let me like my. That's my your mom. Him. Right. So I'm just giving you my perspective. You asked so for cri- my help. So you're criticizing my mom. You said I gave you my perspective. No, I want your yeah, I want your perspective. Okay, that's all I said. Well, I I do wish you guys have a kid, and I'm sure it'll be great. And I hope that you quit doing everything you do in life just to be with I that wouldn't. kid twenty four seven. You work would for make myself, you know, and you right. know what? That's when you find someone. And I hope mom, Moses. Sister. I hope Moses quits every single thing he does to be with the kid every single moment when you're on when you are. That's totally fine uh, if yeah. he wants to. If he doesn't want to, whatever he wants to do. Yeah, like everybody does with kids. Yeah, they quit everything they do. When you have a kid, you should. Try and be with it as much as possible, not be with, with it. strangers. Mm-hmm. So that's what she's going to do. Abby's not a stranger. You ever notice how she's the first person to tell you how you should live your life, even though she hasn't walked a mile in a person's shoes? But yet, if you criticize her for the shit she puts out, for the public to see, you're the asshole. She's not your family. Dan's not, I mean, Dan. Dan's not family, but I trust him. The pizza's here. Wow. <laughs> Should we keep doing beauty products? Whatever you want. All right, let's do it. I, what triggered you again? What were we talking about? You are being too good for me to talk about on this podcast. Don't so even fucking mention her. She's a fucking... See what she just said. What triggered you? She, did you hear what she said? Hila being too good for me to even mention on this effing podcast. Watch, watch her go from zero to 60 right here by him asking what happened. being too good for me to talk about. Crank this I, up what triggered you again? Feeling. What were we talking about? Hila f- being too good for me to talk about on this podcast. Don't even fucking mention her. She's a fucking queen. Like, don't even fucking mention me on the podcast. Right, that's you why. Know, I'm a literal podcaster. Right. That's why. Cool. And you can uh, oil. You want to do the oil? Sure. The pizza's here, everybody. Woo! The pizza's here. We had a full meltdown while you were gone. Expect another text from your sister. Oh, my God. I'm not coming back to the house. I'm not. Like. No. <laughs> Moses said, what happened? You know, this is the literal meme where you walk in with the pizza and the. Oh, my God. I just left to get pizza. This is literally. She's really upset because she was saying how Ela doesn't like oh, her. Ela says, don't talk about me on the podcast. All I said was you should have the guest. He's like, we can't mention Ela. She doesn't want me to talk about. Oh, she's too good for a fucking podcast. Even though we were talked about, they never once consulted me at the I beginning said of it's spring. A pro- she has a fucking podcast. I brought life to the fucking HR channel, but oh, Ela's too fucking good to even mention her name. I said nothing bad. I said like, oh, we should have her as a guest or whatever. Like that. Don't no. even mention Ela. She doesn't want me to be talked no. about. Fuck. Okay. I literally don't care. Literally, I don't want to come back because I really fucking hate her. I really effing hate her. 
So she she always making comments about the family and how I wasn't. That wasn't it. I said, oh, Ela should be That's a guest why- on the podcast. And you're like, don't fucking mention Ela. She's the one we talked about. Oh, a fucking queen. You guys can talk about my shit all the time. It's- but her, don't fucking mention her name. Dumb fucking bitch. Okay. Then she calls her a dumb effing B. His wife. I think we should just end it, honestly. Yeah, I think so, too. That, and she's dating a brother. Fuck fucking bitch. She's not. And you are, too. And you're- she's such an effing B. You take you have no fucking a cock. backbone. All right, you should leave. We'll talk later. Yeah, you should get out. I'm not, I am going, but yeah. I'm not talking later. That's a spoiled ass brat. That is a spoiled brat that is used to getting everything she wants and doesn't know what it. This is why she, this woman can't never be held accountable. This is why she does not apologize. And if she if she even attempts an apology, it's in passing. It's because God knows how much wrong's been done to her is the only way you'll even get a glimpse of an apology. She apologized that people made her be me. <laughs> you know, you know what other kind of apologies? Okay, and I'm gonna I can't pause these for whatever reason, so I have to kind of they're playing with the muted. I'm gonna play the two of these, which is freaking amazing. This uh, contradictions of Trish on TikTok. If you guys are on there and you've not seen this, I highly recommend you guys going over here and checking this out because he does a great job of doing exactly what I'm about to show you. She has said so much shit over the last decade. Like literally shit. That's so much content. She's put so much out there. She lies so much that she can't keep up with how many stories she spun to make a dollar. And now that all this stuff is that people are actually kind of rewinding the tape and she keeps trying to act like this is all in the past. The problem is, is this is all stuff she's done in the last several months. It's just she said shit 10 years ago or eight years ago that now she's saying something 10 years later. People are calling her ass to the carpet over it. And now people can't leave her past along. Like, you know, you can't make this shit up. I want to show this one first. This is this shit's hilarious. I'm going to mute it. I'm going to shut up and rewind it back. Sorry, I can't pause these. Really? They really came out in a... T- <laughs> oh, my God. Starbucks just handed me this apron as I went through the drive-thru and it had my name on it. I'm shaking. I'm, like, hyperventilating. I can't I can't breathe right now. Okay, some people are, like, you know, they were, like, I mean, it's mostly haters because most people don't care about it. They're, like, you know, why are you dressing as, like, you know, service employees or whatever? And, like, people think I'm, like, trying to, I don't know if they think I'm making money. No, I'm not. Starbucks, I swear to goodness, it's always been a dream of mine to wear this apron. I always wanted to work at Starbucks, and I swear to goodness, Starbucks never hired me. Like, I always went in, and, like, I don't know. I think it's just always really bad at interviews because I really just didn't get hired at most places. A lot of people are, like, oh, no, it's an entry-level job. They'll hire you. But I swear, seriously. Seriously, I've always wanted to work there. I've always, always wanted to learn how to make the drinks. Like, always. Yep. She's cost okay. minimum wage workers again. That's so tacky. Actually, no. I'm fulfilling a dream. My dream was to be a Starbucks barista between the ages of 18 and 24, and I applied at six different locations, and never once did I get hired due to lack of experience. So I had to go sell my body instead of learning how to make delicious frappuccinos. Her question was, have you ever worked in food or retail? If not, would you ever? Yes, I worked in both, and I hated them. They were the worst jobs ever. In fact, it's probably how I became a stripper. <laughs> I just couldn't take a real job. Um, As far as real jobs, I never really liked my real jobs. I worked at Target. I worked at Starbucks. I worked at Starbucks. Is it up enough? I saw the sign and it opened up my eyes. And hashtag ask Trisha, this is from Twitter. When you worked at Hooters, were you plus size? Um, I was a lot smaller. If you see my earlier videos, like from my very first apartment where it was like really small and I had like more of a gold hair, that's about the size I was. I was about a size six, definitely not the size I am now, which is like a 10 to 12. So yeah. Okay. And this is going somewhere. I'm leading into another video. I'm not going to try and drag that video out because my videos have been exceptionally long. You almost have to take a break from this mofo because it'll, it'll make your brain melt trying to cover this chick. But <clears throat> whatever. But um, if uh, if you catch it up there, she basically said she's never worked at Starbucks nor, you know, worked at Hooters. And then you rewind the tape. She's worked at both. I And then people wonder why you would not believe more serious allegations that come out of this person's mouth. If she can't even tell the truth about whether or not she worked at fucking Starbucks. Do you think I'm going to believe whether or not she's kicked puppies if she can't even tell the truth about working at Starbucks? 
Now, what envision? I want you to envision your life is like a long road. Okay, you're driving sixty miles an hour on this road. All right, we're all human. We make mistakes. You drove two thousand miles, and by accident, you you hit a kitten. Okay. Oh my God, disaster! What were you thinking? Next time, pay attention more. You hit the kitten. But if you look behind you, it's just empty road where you've done a pretty decent damn job. Okay, so nobody's looking behind you thinking you a damn cat murderer, okay? If you look behind Trisha Paytas, it looks like Pet Cemetery. This is why no one believes her ass. I, I, it's, oh my God. Anyway, okay, I'm going to play this other one because it's pretty, it's, this dude does, did a really, really good job. I'm going to do this one as well. This is his Twilight bullshit. I mean, she can't even be honest about the I movies she all watched. I Twilight it. movies. I didn't even know what they were. Sort of. So it's true. I've actually never seen Twilight. This was my first weekend that I actually watched all the Twilight movies. I didn't even know what they were about, really. They really came out at a time when I was just like, just trying to stay alive, basically, okay? To me, I just don't think there's even a choice in, like, why there was a debate, Team Edward or Team Jacob, because Jacob is the obvious choice. I'm like, who really wants to be a vampire? I really want to be a vampire. I went through that phase. I went through the vampire phase, right? I used to love, 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 love vampires. <sighs> But what is with all these vampires, like, lately? Basically, what I'm referring to is this new mm -hmm. Twilight Breaking Dawn is coming out, like, pretty soon, you know, a few weeks away. Everyone is, like, freaking out like crazy. I don't get it. Like, I've seen the first one. Awful. Second one, not so bad. This third one just looks terrible. And I've read the book, so before y'all get on me, I read the book. I don't get it. The books are better than the movies. I'll give you that. Because when I envision Edward, I envision... Yeah, oh, we don't need care. I mean, just, like, driving the point home, if you can't be honest about a simple job, you can't be honest about a movie you watched. Why in the hell would anyone debate she'd be honest about anything serious when we've watched her do videos where, she, where she's trying to teach her young audience about seducing teachers and, and then tries to tell it then writes and does all these videos about nothing ever happened in school and then fast forward a decade and a half and all of a sudden, oh, he was horrible. It, it's just... It's sad because this man has passed. It's sad because she's taking no accountability what she's done to his family's life. And that's kind of what I pissed off. I actually had pulled something up I watched of her. Again, this is why you need to take a break. You have to watch this damn content. But I thought I saw a glimpse of, like, honesty from this person. And I was going to give her the benefit of that. But, like, you know what? It's about redemption, okay? I do believe people should be able to redeem themselves. If they messed up a lot in their life, you know, they can hit that wall of maybe, you know, something in their life that happens that they're like, I need to do better, all right? But that doesn't happen overnight. You can't have a shithole of a fucking reputation for 20 years and you decide you want to put out a nice tweet on a Tuesday and then you expect the world to forgive you on a Wednesday. That shit ain't how it works. You have to prove that you have a track record of being a decent human being. Like I literally watched one of these videos where somebody was like, oh, you know, she was on the path to redemption and being a good influencer on YouTube. And I'm like, do who? You're talking with the lady that like said she was a chicken nugget. And then she came out and said she was trans. And then she came out and made fun of the DID community. We're talking about that part. That wasn't in 1997. That wasn't even in 2007. That wasn't even in 2017. Some of this shit happened in the last year. I don't know how y'all guys work. But where I'm from, that ain't no damn reputation. That's not even a speed bump. I don't know. Hold on a second. Which leads me to this. Why I'm here tonight. Um, somewhat. If you notice, it's taken me several days to do a reaction to this. I mean, look, this thing was uploaded, a couple, like, what, a couple weeks ago? There have been several reaction channels that have done stuff about this that I can see. I've not watched but maybe a couple of them. Because I don't want to take anything away from these people that have been doing this a long time. I figure most people are going to cover the, the, the main highlights. And if... Uh, and this stuff can be exhausting. Um, I watched Mysterious videos. A lot of people commented down in my comment section that, um, you know, what was going on with her. I had seen kind of what was happening with her. That's why I, uh, I told y'all why I put out that one. I think I made it uh, February and then put it out. I was like, oh, hell no. Let them come at my ass. I don't have any kids. Going at somebody's kids is not okay. 
But um, anyway, I saw that like people were at, talking about responding to mysterious video, and uh, and several people I believe have done that. So this dropped after that. And I kind of watched some of this and I was like, listen, I'll, I'll look at both sides of the fence. I really will. And it's, I will tell you what I have to do is because I don't care for Trisha Paytas. I don't, I've seen this woman do too much shit to hurt people and then cry and whine victim all the damn time. Nobody likes that shit. I, I can't imagine anybody that really likes it. Uh, but um, so I know that going in, so I have to try and separate. Am I really critiquing this because I just I just don't care for this person, or is the is the is the way that this video being presented is it evidence based, or is it our feelings? Is it hypothetical? Is it you know anecdotal? Like you know what I mean? I'll go through those processes, and I and I really will try to step back and go. So I'm going to go over a little bit of this. If you can't tell, I have a few things pulled about some of my issues that I had, but I'm I'm probably going to go a little different angle than what you guys have seen, and, I, and I'll let you make your own decisions. Um, I've told you guys if you can't tell by the accent I live in the south. I live in a small town. Um, and uh, I'll give you a little hint of where I'm kind of going to going to go with this. But I will watch it, and I'll comment through in the very beginning of it till I've probably watched enough, then I'm going to end this. But by the way, thanks for all the wonderful comments below, because, they, you know, they all give me some good ideas. By giving a bunch of disclaimers that I know that people are going to actively choose to ignore. Number one, this is not a hit piece. Many people online and across the internet have been saying that this was a... See, this is, and I'll give you an example. Like she said this within the first 20 seconds of actually speaking that this is not a hit piece. And my first reaction was to go, well, you know, it's not a good look if you're, if you're telling everybody it's not a hit piece. You know what I mean? And that might be what it is. But then again, again, I step back and I'm like, well, there's so much controversy going on in the world, the cancel culture and all that other shit. I, we all know what trying to say qualifiers mean. So, I mean, you know, I can I get that. You know, you need to try to qualify what you're about to say people don't you know blah blah but some of the things i'm i'm not even gonna say it because it it's a serious day the way for me to discredit mysterious is what and it's not it's just an alternative perspective number two there is no mysterious versus petty page beef and for the love of god stop trying to make one two now i heard something a little bit different about that hang on a sec okay she said something about them not having beads. I'm going to pull up something in a second. I'm going to let her continue on for a second. But I don't know enough about these folks to know how they have history. I am going to have to do a little bit of relying on other people I do think have history and know more about the story here. And this is the only way I can present this is that people that kind of know the history there. So this is... Uh, this is just other stuff I found on it. So it's really, I mean, I'm sure if I dug harder, I'll probably find evidence. I'll let this continue and then I'll insert what I think is uh, maybe some more to this story. And this for second. the love of God, stop trying to make one. Two content creators can have different opinions and perspectives without it being a versus battle or some kind of beef in any capacity. Number three, there is no mysterious vendetta. I've seen this as well across social media prior to me actually making my video that I have like some kind of vendetta against Mysterious. I don't have any Mysterious vendettas purely because I don't know Mysterious. I've never spoken to them. We've never had any extended conversation. I don't even believe we've interacted on social media. In order for a vendetta to exist, there would have to be history and we simply don't have any history together. Number four. Okay, she says they don't have any history together. I'm gonna play this little snippet uh, I think this is, I have it right. Uh, this is a YouTuber called Nactor. I, I hope I said that right. I don't mean to be rude. I don't know. I don't, again, this is just, uh, you have to dig. I had to dig around to it. See, this is what I mean by people already respond to this. I want to play this snippet of his video because he does address this. And he seems to know Mysterious, I guess, offline. And his critique of what she says here uh, maybe explains why that's the case. Never interacted with Mysterious on social media. I wonder why that is. I wonder why that is. Because you've had her blocked this entire time, Betty. You backed up Dustin Daly. 
when Dustin Daly said, eat my entire ass, you B-I-T-C-H. Derogatory language. You backed him up when he used that language against Mysterious, and then you blocked her, and you blocked me. <laughs> no, I don't think I've ever interacted with Mysterious. I wonder why that would be. I wonder why that is. Maybe it's because you called Orgy a racist, and you, he went into your chat of one of your live streams and was like, let's let's have a chat. Let's talk. Uh, now he's talking about somebody else. So I, I don't know about that situation. I just wanted to hear about the series. But here, continuing on with this. Four, Trisha Paytas is not my friend. I can honestly count on like one hand the amount of times that me and Trisha have actually ever spoken a conversation or a piece of dialogue that's lasted more than one sentence. And furthermore, Count on one hand how many times your interactions lasted more than one sentence. And her saying that she, what is it, you count on one hand in a sentence of interaction she's had, they're not friends. Take a look at this. I mean, you tell me. This is a tweet by this person, Petty Page. She says, you know what? I'll take that one. I did message Tricia a year later to tell her Jeffrey was going around calling her a crazy meth head. And it's funny, even when I made a video in her favor after speaking with her directly, Blue, I, I don't care about this part. I care about this part. If you don't consider someone, you know, like you don't care about them or you don't even consider them like, like you friendly or whatever, the way she was just trying to portray it in that video. Why would you take time out of your hand and then reach out to this person to then go tell them rumors you'd heard about what Jeffrey was saying about them? You understand what I'm saying? I messaged her a year later to tell her Jeffrey was going around calling her crazy. Mother. Why? Why, if you're just a if you're just a content creator, just a drama channel or a T channel, whatever you want to call yourself. Why would you go message her to let her know what somebody's saying about her if you're strictly just trying to do unbiased, do unbiased videos and cover some material? I wouldn't do that shit. Would you? That, didn't, that did not add up to me. I mean, maybe they do things differently there. I don't know. I don't know. But that did not make any sense to me. So, um, and by the way, uh, this is the person, because I'll give that shout out, was the one that... Um, posted this view of a mom and said another call page made was to Trisha after a trip to Vegas to tell her that Jeffrey was running around telling everyone that Trisha was on drugs while they were there and had to send her on a plane home because they were so embarrassed but I just wanted to give a shout out who was doing this but yeah bringing that back out and then see she's totally dodged this she, down here it's like it's almost as if it's not personal and the company's doing it you know talking about that that um that that company that was flagging everybody's material. That's not that's not what this person's saying. This person is talking about she's trying to act like she's never talked to Trisha's like friendly or whatever, and yet she's given evidence as to why she's saying that she doesn't believe that, and she continues to talk about the company thing. Uh, deflection. I don't know. I don't. Know, maybe I've got that mixed up. But again, my whole point is. That part where this is literally her words and her own message saying she reached out to her to tell her something you think a friend would do. Hmm. Yo, girl, somebody's talking about some shit behind your back. You know, that kind of thing. You don't do for strangers. But whatever. Carrying on. I have a catalog of videos on my channel to do with Trisha Paytas. She is not my most favorite person and I have dragged her consistently. So having a different opinion. You know what? And I and I I I did spent my flipping time going through those damn videos. And if you look here, I, I didn't get to wait a minute. Let me retract that. I didn't get through all these videos because I looked. Look, this is two years ago. This is two years ago. This is this one down here at the bottom was two years ago. This was a month ago. And if you actually go watch that video, she's saying where she dragged her. Uh, no, I, what did, I think I watched the avocado one, too. She's not really dragging her. Um, I think I even took, because I, listen, I, when I do this stuff, I mean, I got notes. This stuff takes a lot of time. You know, you're concerned about being factual and, and presenting the truth, which I think is a, an issue with a lot of these channels. They just want to get stuff out there so it gets views. And then, you know, the damage is done. You know, you get, what is this, you know, 
118,000 views or 31,000 views or 94,000 views, you know, these people usually don't take this shit down. They might put a comment below it or send, send a tweet out or what. I don't know. But it's like, care about what you're putting out there beforehand. That would be great. But, you know, it is what it is. And um, so, yeah, I, I just, that didn't make any sense. But yeah, I've looked two years, two years, two years, yeah, uh -huh, year favorite person and I have dragged her consistently so having a different opinion that maybe might be a little bit more supportive of Trisha Paytas and the things it is they've said in this instant doesn't make me a stan I'm 30 years old I've got two kids I haven't got time to be stanning a 33 year old from America let's just call it what it is I'm literally past the point of having that totalitarian way of thinking where it is either black or white there are various shades of gray and that's what I'm I'm here to discuss in today's video the spaces in between the truth and the lies it really sucks that we live on an internet that is full of so much animosity that i even have to make a video disclaimer like this to prove my intentions behind why i'm making a video like this but i have to when there are people and groups and blogs etc saying things like this discrediting my work even before it's done even before i've pressed record even before i've said hello and i don't know stuff like See, and I don't care about any of that shit. You know, again, you know, she can say what she wants to about everybody else. I don't know these people. I just give a shit about after the stuff comes out. Is it the truth? Are you reaching across a river to try and grab a fishing pole instead of taking the one right next to you? You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I swear, I, maybe it's me. Maybe got y'all can put down below channels that actually take the time to, to you know, put some credentials behind their work. But I'm going to, I don't even know if I should fast forward to get to the part to where uh, the part that really kind of bothers me, but I'll let it play some more. Like that makes me think it's giving me very much scared. And we're talking about SA and SA allegations. Further information shouldn't make you scared in any capacity and any more information coming out that could be. Wait a minute, see how she's somewhere minute. Wait a minute. S.A. and S.A. It's giving board even before I've said hello. And I don't know, stuff like that makes me think it's giving me very much scared. And we're talking about S.A. and S.A. Is she just, did she say it's giving me very much scared? And listen, I know I got a thick country accent, but is what? A allegations. Further information shouldn't make you scared in any capacity and any more information coming out that could be a defense to SA survivors or victims should not make anybody uncomfortable unless no, there's all is, victims this is right coming here. out that this could is be not, this is not this is whoa 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 this is see scared. I didn't even catch this the In first time I watched this shit any capacity and any more information the information shouldn't make you scared Further information shouldn't make you scared. In any capacity in and any, capacity. any more information coming out that could be a defense to SA survivors. Any more information. Listen, can we not conflate information with evidence? Is anybody with me on this shit? Because I, I, anybody can go on and make a damn Twitter account. And you have, you know how much, how, you know what I'm going to do? This is why I've done those videos on my channel before about the Kurt Cobain, about the MJ stuff, about even about the Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. You want to see somebody go bring up some false allegations to try and ruin a damn um, uh, a Hollywood, A-list Hollywood actor? Follow that case. You know all the shit she accused Johnny Depp of doing to try and walk out with some bank? Then she tried to portray it to the mainstream media that the $7 million she was going to be given in that divorce settlement, she was going to give it all to charity. Like she was some, you know, Mother Teresa. And whenever D Johnny Depp demanded that she provide the evidence that she actually donated the money, she can't fucking produce it. You know how she accused him of beating her ass and like, you know, SA, like R and her, whatever. And when all, now all the evidence is coming out, this woman took a shit on his side of the bed and then packed up her friends in her car and went to Coachella. She, you know, she was so devastated from her marriage.
you know, splitting up, that she dropped, brought Elon Musk up to the penthouses that Johnny Depp was paying for. And you, what do you think you're going to do with Elon Musk at 11, 11 o'clock at night, sneaking him up to the top rooms while he's out of town filming a movie? What do you think they did? Play, play Scrabble? I don't fucking think so. But you know what I mean? So this is where I got an issue. Listen, I know what I'm talking about here as far as personally going. I know that there are some shitty fucking dudes in the world. Okay, I've met a couple in my time. But I've also seen some really vindictive freaking people say some really horrible shit about people because they're mad at them. Or they're worried about custody. All kinds of reasons. And if you can't be honest enough with yourself to admit that there's people out there like that, then I don't know what to tell you. You're living in a fantasy world. And I've told you about the damn highway of, from the pet cemetery behind you. If you look behind somebody and it looks like the damn pet cemetery, then I don't know why you might not believe that person. I don't know why they have a motive to bullshit you when they can be honest whether they work at Starbucks or not. Much less all the shit she said about this teacher that has a clear damn record. Now, I can make a case for teachers unions that protect shitty teachers. There are teachers unions that have protected really horrible teachers and just removed them from that, that facility and put them in another district where they carry on to teach. But there's a lot of stuff that plays and factors into that. And I have someone that I'm close friends with, which is the CEO and co-founder and president of the Child Protection League. She is very familiar. She's very familiar with the woman that fought against the teachers unions for teachers having to pay those dues. I can bring her on. Alfie, sorry, my little dog. I can bring her on and have a conversation with her and talk to y'all all about schools and the teachers unions and all that if you want to. Know what the hell I'm talking about here. I'm talking out my ass. But that, but again, the same thing, vice versa. If you don't think people have lied in order to save their ass over some very crazy shit, I can show you people that have went to trial and accused their husbands of all kinds of crap to try and get off on a murder charge. But keep going. Drivers or victims should not make anybody uncomfortable unless there's an ulterior motive. So let's go. See, that shit, like, what do you mean on ulterior motive? No, facts fucking matter. People spewing shit out on social media is not evidence. Go to chapter one. Considering homeschooling online. Great. Many we got, we got a damn, but here, I'll just mute it up. If you can't tell, it so bugs the piss out of me because it, it just does. It just does. I mean, it, uh, it's it's like people are living in some fantasy world where they think nobody lies. Has anybody checked out who Trisha Paytas is? Yep, nobody lies. Case after case after case, I could show you where I'm telling you. People have lied to save their asses or people have lied to ruin people. Lied to ruin them. It's just the truth. <laughs> So, chapter one, how it started and how it was framed. So, Trisha Paytas has been at the centre of controversy, as we all know, here on social media, after a video by a content creator called Mysterious went semi-viral or viral within the communities that actually care about this kind of stuff. With a deep dive video into Trisha Paytas, who they are, how they grew up, their middle school, their family dynamic, and why they have ended up the habitual liar we know today. As a top video posted in my discord server my yep. audience requested that we watch this video together and we watched episode one and when i tell you episode one was insanely good i personally love a depth of research and it was clear to me the time and effort that was undertaken by mysterious to do stuff like reading trisha paytas's book videos that trisha had made to cross reference and honestly i found that level of dedication to a story yeah, yeah. T take take a number out of the page of what it takes to do this shit. Again, I could leave through you my notebook that I'm sitting here right here where I have time stamp stuff. I've just uh, I've literally just let slide by right now while I'm listening to this with you guys because I know if I stop at every damn thing I have written down, I'm never going to get through this shit. It's called backing up a claim, and it's pretty important whenever you're think making things like essay charges against someone. You know, it takes a lot of time to dig into some shit. It really does. 
That was such a good video. Like that was actually really, really good. I, uh, if you guys are interested in watching this video again and going over some of the receipts, or even just going through and supporting this content creator that made this video that deserve all of the views, it definitely took them a long time to put. I mean, I could appreciate hard work when I see it. Uh, their name is Mysterious. They have nine point nine four k notifications. Oh my God. Video number two for me was filled with so much. Her what? Presumptuous takes, personal bias, privileged ideologies, and just a total personal bias. I've watched this beforehand. I've warned you. I've warned you all. This is rich right here. Just, just remember what's being said right here, and then use it to look in the mirror. That's all I'm going to say. Takes, personal bias, privileged ideologies, and just a total. What is? What does that mean? Privileged ideology. But what? What? Privileged ideologies. Hmm. Lack of understanding for victims of SA and what it is that they experience. How they function. See right there. Lack of knowledge about survivors of SA. So, so that you're already making the claim that this is true. Show me any evidence that this has happened. Not hearsay. Evidence. But see, that right there, that statement right there is already making the charge that there's been some presented to me. ...and trauma responses. From the assumption that Mr. Riney was a great guy because he was a war vet, he received loads of different accolades and was hailed by the community as a fantastic teacher. He stopped teaching because he retired. This man is also a Vietnam War vet that was honored with a Bronze Star, which is a high, high honor. If you don't know what a Bronze Star symbolizes in the Army, here is a short summary of what it means. It is the four Fourth highest ranking award a service member can receive for a heroic deed performed in an armed conflict. For those who receive a Bronze Star Medal, it is a signal of their sacrifice, bravery, and honor while serving their country. The other thing I want you guys to focus on is the awards that this man has gotten as a teacher and a coach. His obituary reads as, Some of Mr. Riney's awards and recognition include seven varsity letters in basketball and track with Loraz college five times being included in the who's who of american teachers twice being honored by the western illinois university as a highly motivational teacher and placement in newman's athletic hall of fame this man was so well respected by so many people so for trisha to make such horrible accusations at such a well-respected man in the byron illinois area just makes me so sick to my stomach there is no way this man was doing what she claimed Claimed he would have been caught. To the take that Trisha Paytas resided in a low crime rate area, therefore the chances of them being essayed once was slim enough, let alone three times. For the cities in the USA, which means it's a pretty safe town. In Byron, you have a 1 in 1196 chance of becoming a victim of a violent yeah, so she did cover this. See, I, what did what did what did I watch? Did this one girl upload another video, and that's the one I watched? Because I don't remember this being in her. It's almost like she's in. Uh, I don't know. I'll keep going. But that was my whole point. And watching her face right here, because I'm she, what I was. She brought up articles from Chicago, which is like comparing apples to oranges when you're talking about Byron, Illinois crime so statistically i can see something like this happening one time to someone in a town like byron but three separate times by three different teachers to the same victim it just seems impossible to me to the other point of trisha paytas getting that in and i want to enter something too because i don't maybe she'll address her in a second but the eye rolls and stuff when she was going over his military career let me say you something has this lady ever been court-martialed do you understand how much an, like an essay is treated in the military? You live in, in, in segregated barracks. There's not a bunch of men living with a bunch of women. And da, 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 da. Is there interaction? Do men go off the base and, and go to bars and stuff like that? It, it, can they live off the base and have their own apartments or whatever? There are, yes, there are ways. But I'm going to tell you something. The last thing a military person would want to be found doing is harming a woman.
Because it is not like you go to court out, out outside of the military. They take that shit pretty freaking serious. Information wrong about their teacher, Mr. Riney, who they alleged had been found with CP. On I mean, how many times she going to say his damn his name? This would, well, I guess they were all saying it. It's so too late now. His computer. So because that information was alleged had been found with CP wrong about their teacher, Mr. Another point of Trisha Paytas getting their information wrong about their teacher, Mr. Riney, who they alleged had been found with CP on his computer. See right there, she's already messed up. The alleged they found CP on his computer. Now that's changed to where oh some somebody come out and said. Now the allegations. Again, this is all hearsay, by the way, everybody out there in the world. This isn't based off by any, any police record or arrest record or any of this shit. These are all people going on Reddit threads or Twitter threads or whatever. And I'll throw in all this. Well, I heard this story or I heard that story or blah, 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 blah. And the, now that's, that's not CP on his computer. Now it's supposedly uh, that he could have been sent P on his computer and that it was actually a link that was sent to him on his computer by a pissed off parent or uh, uh was it a pissed off parent or or, or or another teacher that has got either mad at him or he was i don't who not see this is why i don't like doing this shit there's no evidence that any of this happened but the story is now wrote into it was just paid and I've said this in my other video, how many, how much sense does it make that you're a teacher sitting in a classroom, you get an email and you see a link and you know there's going to be P on it and students are standing around you enough to apparently have, because these are allegations, well, I saw it, I was standing next to him, I was in the room and we watched it happen. How many things teacher, do you think teachers are going to, in the middle of a classroom, open up P and just start watching them like a student? Have you lost your effing minds? So because that information was wrong, we should totally disregard the fact that Trisha Payton... It makes it a lot less credible for anything else that's going to fly out of somebody's mouth about it. You ever met, again, Trisha Paytas? It has even named this person as their alleged personal essay abuser. They have lied about so much, you guys, and I could list everything and we could be here all day. What costs are we going to keep believing everything that comes out of her mouth? A teacher that can't defend himself, a teacher that was well loved, a teacher that was never arrested, that had a perfect reputation in the community. Because what about the victims of Trisha Paytas? When are we going to start taking them? See that little mouth of who cares? You know what? Who cares? The, the the family and his legacy of the people now trying to slander his name that's who cares because the reputation actually should matter so if you've got a reputation of lying whether or not you worked at fucking starbucks or not i'm gonna look at you like you can't tell the truth about a damn teacher especially when you've shot out videos of you producing them where you actually have danced around and teaching your audience on how to seduce them well, he was the English teacher, but also the gym teacher and wrestling coach, and uh, we had heart rate monitors, and I always was like, I don't know how to get my heart rate monitor on. Could you help me, Mr. Hot, uh, premature gray, but sexy, fit, tight little body. Then I moved schools to Pecatonica High School, where it was my ultimate teacher crush, Mr. D, who was my sophomore by all. Yeah, remember, this is this teaching how to seduce your teacher, lady. This is that, this is this, that's what, this is who cares. Whether or not this man again, he he re, he um he recertified his teaching license. You know, ever so often a teacher will have to go back and recertify, just like a cosmetologist recertify their license. Blah blah blah. He did that in 2017. Okay, if he'd been arrested for P, he wouldn't be able to re get his recertify his teaching license. And more seriously, why don't we talk about the victims of Trisha Paytas? Why don't we talk about the victims of Trisha Paytas? There are plenty of victims of Trisha Paytas. There are loads of people who have been lied on by Trisha Paytas. Why are we taking this shit? If there was anywhere that you shouldn't have touched, it was this. There are plenty of victims of... What is she going on about? Where, where am I at? We could have thought with 
Whether you are confused about that is not it ever. So at the start of episode two, Mysterious starts talking about their copyright strike. And when watching this video live, I was a little bit confused how something so easily identifiable and Googleable had slipped under the radar, considering the level of research it is that I'd come to expect from Mysterious. So let's talk about it. The significance of the copyright claim. Considering homeschooling online, oh, many Christian families though. choose in life academy the you're welcome in Lydium academy and this is again what i'm talking about because that's not why this this woman did her video or she, she didn't do this video to go over all of her victims she did this video to talk about all the things that she's discrediting about all these claims she can't she she did this video because now this family's being attacked and harassed and all this other shit because she decided to go on and tell her five million followers to go find this man and track him down and then later on went reduced released the video trying to blame it on the h 3 h 3 damn reddit thread this is a person that does not know what accountability is but snuck up and bit him in the ass now i just watched her whole damn video for that shit bullshit okay So Mysterious stated that they had received a copyright as a Mr. Rine. We're going to another app? What the online. hell? Okay. Okay, so just to bring you guys back a few steps, let's go to the beginning of the Trisha Paytas and Mr. Riney drama. On episode 17 and 23 of Frenemies, Trisha Paytas talks about a teacher that allegedly them. They also made numerous TikToks talking about the alleged that are still up on their TikTok to this day. I've always been vocal on social media because I was silenced. <laughs> Not to give like a silly reference in this, but I was silenced for so long um, at my school growing up. I had three different incidences with three different teachers in regards to SA. She's contradicted all this that she's saying right now. I mean, you, you need me to really dig up the videos? I hope she says that. Everything she said, she has went back and forth on so many times about like working at damn Hooters. A R word and M word. Or do you need a refresher? And that's just one of the shit. I mean, there's so much bragging about it, talking about how attracted she was, trying to get them to do something with her, claiming she never did anything with them. Da 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 da. -da. Again, you can bring up all the people that people handle trauma differently, or blah blah. But we're talking about this person with the pet cemetery behind them. Okay. This is not somebody with a stellar reputation of telling the truth. I'll say it again. She couldn't even be honest about whether or not she had a job at Starbucks. Vacation starts with an M. It happened in the school. And one, one principal didn't believe me. Two, I was too scared to speak up. And three, the teacher said I was like. Then she said she was too scared to speak up. Remember, she later said that she reported it. On H3H3 and other uh, places, she said, oh, she she reported it. She talked about it, but they didn't believe it. Now she said she's too afraid to speak up. Like, what? The, the, asking for it. And she said people didn't believe so her. So it was like looked over. See? And the teacher said I was like asking for it. So it was like looked over. The one that I was too scared to speak up on, someone else spoke <gasps> up years later and he ended up getting arrested. Byron, Illinois. Look it up. His name hey, is up on. Someone else spoke up years So it was like looked over. The one that I was too scared to speak up on, someone else spoke up years later and he ended up getting arrested. Byron, Illinois, look it up. His name is looking up CP at, at school. And I finally have a voice for my... Look it up. Tells 5 million people, would look it up. Or all the, whatever subs count is on damn TikTok. But you know that shit's going to bleed over to them YouTube followers or whatever. That is not the fucking truth. That man has no arrest record myself and hopefully others i can never share your story but i'll always be in support of the victims i will always stand behind them and they don't stay silent anymore now in the tiktok we're hitting that rich because she sure isn't standing behind all the victims that are claiming her ex her new fiance's done it is she she always stands behind the victims huh no ask all moses's people that are coming out now she's standing behind them see all these people's shit can be uh -uh. nope 
Here's she. Video, Trisha Paytas basically states that Mr. Riney was arrested for having CP on his computer and then tells their audience to look it up. So some people did just that and found a completely separate incident in a completely separate state in a completely separate school. And when you do find Mr. Riney, you find his online obituary as the man has sadly passed away. The perception by the audience is that Trisha had actively lied on a dead teacher and then went ahead and told their audience to look up that lie. However, as I watched the video, I couldn't help but wonder, why would Trisha Paytas tell a lie to their audience and direct them to this lie, which would actively discredit what it is that they're trying to say? At the time of posting this, Trisha Paytas has 6.4 million followers. Yeah, well, there's our 6.4 million followers on there. Are, are, is this a joke? Is this person joking about this? Why would she actively lie knowing that people could easily go discredit that lie? Have, you're talking about the, this is literally the last 10 years of this person's life that she has done this, repeatedly done this followers on TikTok. So when broadcasting to such a large audience, why would they tell such a transparent lie? And at least because she does it all the time. Catch up. Catch up. Pet cemetery behind her. It's not expect at least a couple hundred people to check and verify that information. And for as calculated as Trisha Paytas is portrayed to be on social media, this would be an extremely stupid mistake. That to me, honestly, just... See what I mean? I don't think we're talking about the same person here. This leads me to believe that Trisha Paytas probably searched his name, saw the article, felt super duper vindicated and strong enough to share their own personal story. She felt super duper vindicated that she couldn't read the first damn line of the article. Stir like look, Sterling, Illinois. Pass <sighs> a large not expect at least a couple hundred people trade to be on social media this leads me to believe that trisha paytas probably searched his name saw the art about this individual and the experiences they had well then again it leads me to believe that she probably searched him up well again that can be your opinion but that's what that is an opinion However, the information they broadcasted was wrong. But according to Trisha Paytas' classmates, something may have happened. See, see, here we go. According, see this, this right here? According to some uh, anonymous online people, something may have happened. But it just wasn't that. Considering homeschooling on... This is why, again, this is why evidence matters. And this chick's got enough damn commercials in her damn video. I swear to choke cat. At least she's put him in every second. See, what is this shit? Morgan Matters, the class, well, that's done a, a pun on some classmate who spoke out. The classmate who got dragged for lying, and then when she got called to the carpet, she started removing all kinds of shit. And then everybody's going to sit here and feel sorry for her. But, but again, this, again, why do you think all this is coming down? Because the very thing Trisha Paytas did was now he's dragging this this dead man's family through the fucking mud. And now all of a sudden this person that's come out after his death to say she was a classmate for that's now since disappeared. So fast forward to after episode two of Mysterious's video, Ethan Klein must have been informed about the situation or heard about the video or even watched the video in regards to Trisha Paytas and the passed away Mr. Riney and decided to post a public statement basically saying he took down episode 17 of the Frenemies podcast until Trisha first. We're going to speculate here or his family could have reached out said, could you take that shit off your damn, off your channel because you're, you know, hurting the memory of my husband. Husband and it's a bunch of shit. I mean, or that could have happened, but whatever. 
further clarifies themselves. Now this is when we see an ex-classmate of Trisha Pater from Byron Middle School come forward and share their experience and basically states that the same happened to them. Now before I get into this section of the video I have to just give you guys another disclaimer. The disclaimer is is that I can't give people's personal details. That would be doxing. So whilst I can show you what I can which I believe is enough to be able to validify that this person is a real individual what I can't do is then go out and spread that person. I can show you what I believe shows this is a real individual. Well, I can show you, I've taught a couple of, uh, several dozen people how easy it is to impersonate someone online as a way for them to make sure that they protect themselves when they're online. Because I've had the ability to have an experience with older people on that are kind of new to the online world. And they think when they get a message from somebody with their first and last name, that it must be that person. Unfortunately, the reality is that may not be the case. Personal information on the internet as they aren't public figures, nor do they deserve that kind of attention. So with that being said, let's go ahead. Now this class, they're not public figures and they don't deserve that kind of attention. What started all this shit? Hmm. What started all this shit? Oh, maybe it's the fact that Trisha Paytas decided to do this and then tell all of her followers to go track down family that's not public figures but go ahead. is called morgan m they can be seen in mysterious's video showing trisha among their classmates in the school yearbook they state that mr riney was handsy with them too and would rub their shoulders so they I, I want y'all to pay attention to this evidence so that's wrong Listen, I want y'all to take into account this person comes out and says that her, her father, father's the sheriff. Then she backpedals and said, well, he wasn't, when people said, well, did your dad needs to step down because he didn't do anything about it? Oh, well, he wasn't the sheriff at the time, which means what? Was he a police officer? Because you, you're an officer typically for a while. You don't have to be. You can be elected in as a sheriff, but you usually have time on the force before you're ever elected as sheriff. Like you were an officer or a detective or something. Then she comes on here, but she has access apparently to a sheriff of the town and says he, see, and then she says he wasn't arrested for CP, but he was fired for watching porn at a school. And yes, he used to grab us while we played heads up, grab us. But okay, so can you, can you clarify grab, grab us? We're going to see that in the next message. Fired, remember again. He, whatever, he reinstated, he, he recertified his uh, license in 2017. Okay, and I'm about to show you something about this school as well. Because, I, again, I will play devil's advocate on both sides. And like I mentioned in the very beginning, teachers unions can protect teachers. And they can, you know, um, in, in the, but I'll just get to that, okay? They can protect teachers, especially when you have multiple school districts in, in a certain area. But when you're talking about small towns, these people have got that live in this town, lived in this town usually their whole lives. OK, <clears throat> she brought. Well, I don't know. Let me wait for that because she might bring it up. Let me just say this. was handsy with them, too. And, and would grab us while we put grab us. Play, rub their right, but, shoulders. Oh, he would rub their shoulders rub their shoulders while the game was being played so no one could see. Again, uh, apparently have, we never played this school. I don't know what the hell these Yankees are playing up in school, but I've, I've never, ever, ever in class played a damn game where I stuck my head down on the thing and stuck my thumb up. I, I don't know. We were out on the seesaw or some shit, monkey bars. I don't know what the hell. Rain days, we were, you know, playing Scrabble or some shit. I don't know. But whatever. And it says he did this to multiple girls. Who said, are you speaking for multiple girls now? I just don't know if we were, we were old enough to pick up what he was actually doing. It was in middle school. Now, I don't know how your grades are put together either, but Trisha said this was her sixth grade teacher. Because she clarified in one, I think, that sister-sister thing that, uh, that Mysterious played the other day. She talked about an eighth grade teacher, but she said it wasn't the same one. They got caught with the, uh, with the CP, you know, on his computer or whatever. That was sixth grade. So I don't know how y'all's schools are structured, but here, 
we went to elementary school until we were in sixth grade. And then we went, went put in the middle school in seventh grade. Now, that might have changed. Maybe they shoved the sixth grade up into the middle school. That is a possibility. I, I haven't gone back and looked at how it was in the, the early 2000s, late 90s at Byron Middle School. I mean, that is something you can probably figure out. But, um, but yeah, that, that, this is what she's saying rubbed our, rubbed our shoulders. And apparently with this game, there's students that are standing up around the class as well. And they're actually the ones that go around and put the thumbs down. And then it's the student's responsibility to try and uh, guess who the student was that put their thumb down. Now, let me listen to this is some dedu to do a deduction here, okay? If none of these, if the argument would be, okay, come on, we're going to use some common sense now. Here we go. Country it up. Southern take here. Common sense, folks. If you're playing a game where the game is to guess who stuck your damn thumb down and the only person that's standing up doing it is the fucking teacher, well, it's not too hard to guess who stuck your damn thumb down. Does that make any sense? And do you think there's going to be a, a, a room full of, like a, a handful of students that are standing up walking around and there's going to be a dumbass enough teacher to stand there while kids are watching, rubbing on girls' sh shoulders? Because what is he doing? Standing behind a rubbing her shoulder? Are you kidding me? That does not compute. But hell, what? I don't know. Maybe, maybe there was a bunch of students sitting around going, "Oh look, it's Mister R just rubbing Trisha's shoulder." That makes perfect sense. Seven up, y'all. To them, as well as many other girls. They also state that he wasn't arrested for CP, but rather he may have been dismissed for having adult content on. <sighs> Told for the message from my dad. See what I mean? This where she got herself into some damn trouble. Very handsy with the girls on a school computer on school premises. They went on to state that their father was the police chief of Byron and doxed his name. Wait, was it police chief or was it the sheriff? Chief. So we became chief 2000 year. I was in seventh grade. That was a teacher. Mr. was fired years, years later. They see, and then she says here, keep in mind, it was 20 years ago, and the year he became chief, I believe. And he became chief in 2000, the year she, let's see, listen, all you got to do is read, okay? He became chief in 2000, the year she was in seventh grade, and had him as a teacher. So, remember this tweet right here. He became, this is her father we're talking about. You think she might have, it's not a stranger down the road. Chief in 2000, the year she was in seventh grade, moving in this girl, and had him as a teacher. And to keep in mind, it was 20 years, and he became chief, I believe. They now, later on, she came out, remember, everybody? She came out and said, oh, no, this happened after she had him in class, and her father wasn't the chief until after all this happened. On to state that their father was the police chief of Byron and doxed his name. Clearly hadn't been the public of knowledge. Not sure if I knew because of my dad or what, but he remembers as well. But no, that damn message said that she didn't open up. Weirdly enough, she didn't open this up. But I think this is she's showing her message. She asked her dad, he says vaguely, that's not a confirmation. Sorry, if you're talking for a police chief or um, chief, sheriff, even a police officer trying to reach back in their memory, just told for 20 years that's pretty damn difficult they, Many went on to they go on in a week state that their father was the police chief of byron and doxed his name and that clearly it's been the public knowledge not sure if i know because my dad or but what he remembers as well byron grads who remembered mr r being fired for watching p on his school computer while kids were in class <laughs> who remembers so she's reaching out who remembers I have absolutely zero reason to lie about this. It's the truth. You can Google the chief of police, Byron. Uh, basic, look, now she's basically said, hey, Google my dad. And then, then she comes back later and says, y'all harassing my family. What? Then, what? then she puts his name in the damn tweet. Then she says that she's his daughter. 
Then when this is, she says she wants screenshots of her text. I, the only screenshot I saw where he said vaguely she asked it. You can Google who the chief is. His name is, get docs is his name, tells him it's his daughter, and then she comes out later and says, leave my damn family alone. Because Byron and Lauren, you wouldn't understand if you didn't live there. He was a well-to-do white man. It was pushed under the rug. Hmm. Full name in order to prove that they are who they yet. say they are. They even went as far as to contact their dad, who yeah. states that he vaguely remembers a situation yeah. like this, but he doesn't believe that any files were charged against him. Now, when you search in Morgan's name, you are able to find their father and his name, yeah, and that they both reside in Byron. You can also clarify that he is, in fact, the police chief of Byron. Morgan then went on to message. See? He started his law enforcement. This is what I'm talking about. I might know something a little bit about the police department, and I'll leave it at that. Law enforcement career in 1984. 16 years before he became the, for, for, before he uh, became the, what is it, the captain? I keep forgetting everything. I wanted to call him the sheriff, but 1984. He served most recently for the Ogle County Sheriff's Department from 1990, so the Ogle County Sheriff's Department from 1990 until September 2000, at which time he was appointed Byron Chief. So he left uh, a little bit, or he was she started his law enforcement career in 1984. He served most recently for the Ogle. So where did he, where was he into 1984? Because it says he served most recently for the Ogle County Sheriff's Department from 1990. So for six years, was he somewhere else? And then in 90, he transferred and for so 10 years, he worked at that sheriff's department, and then he became the chief of police. So, what I'm saying here is this dude, she's trying to say he wasn't the chief until, yeah, but he was a damn, he worked for the sheriff's department. He was a cop since 1990. So, I mean, he should know. He should have what nobody arrested him. Who's uh, nobody arrested him if he did this shit? He would have been on the damn police force. This is what people come out and question. His friends in a group chat who also you don't have to be the captain or the sheriff to, to to go arrest somebody. Just so you know, you'd be a police officer. Very heated in a very heated Twitter argument. Do you guys remember Mr. Art being fired for watching? P on his computer while kids were in class. Was was he before my time? Yes, I remember. I think it was P Paul who called him. Yes, I he was Blake. Oops. He was Blake. See, look at this shit. Look, look who's look who's fucking replying here. Okay, this person actually has a picture in responding. He was before my time, question mark. Look, people have tea. Stan Patricia? I don't know. Yes, I remember. I think it was Paul Blank who called him. Then RS. Yes, I remember. Look at really? You know what I say about people that have eggheads and all this other shit? Look at this. T said this and RS said this. Mm, sure. Okay. Okay. That's that's awful funny. I find that curious. I remember something similar happening with Mr. Riney, that he may have opened adult content at the school and one person even named a student who was the person who reported this. There was also a girl in the chat called Rachel Redacted who can also be found in that same middle school picture that Mysterious had posted in their original part two video. However, when... Here's another scenario. Looking at the screen grab. Oh, look, there's Rachel in it. We need to get an R. Make sure you make your thing an R. If you don't think there's malicious people out in the world, you are nuts. This is why evidence matters. And I don't know who all he did it to. Some, so someone else's experience could be totally different than mine. But I know he rub our shoulders and go way too low. Now, I'm not going to say this changed my life because it didn't. He definitely did that a couple of years, not multiple. I can all, can get a hold of the principal who worked there. He became chief. So this is just a repeat of this other. And Morgan came out and basically corroborated Trisha's claims that this teacher may have been a bit 
off, a lot of people then decided to come out to try and invalidate Morgan's story, saying a bunch of different things that honestly make no sense. So let's dissect them. They stated that Morgan's name doesn't bring up their father. They stated that the Morgan account was a bot who conveniently came out to defend Trisha. They stated that Morgan was also dead. They stated that Morgan changed their story multiple times before feeling the heat and leaving the internet. They also state that Morgan was hacked. So let's look at the first one. When they stated that Morgan's name doesn't bring up their father's name. Now there are plenty of websites that bring up Morgan's father as the chief of police. I don't need to do any of that. All I need is evidence. I don't get, this says nothing to me except for a person can make up fake accounts. You know, you know how many fake accounts Trisha Paytas has made up? Let me show you the video where Ethan is calling her out and saying she did just that. Did it play in that one I already showed? I think it played in that one I already showed, but but hang on. Yeah, it was the one that I played in the very beginning. I'm going to play it again, just so you understand. I think this is the Ethan, this uh, gentleman, Ethan Klein, being honest about, you ever know when a storm's coming, like you can feel it? You can smell the rain in the air, and in the south, like it's a very distinct smell. It's almost like He's looking at his hand thinking he's confided in this per just let us in his own words. And this is where he talks about her her um, alt accounts and shit like this. Listen. This is why you are such a dangerous person, especially to be close with. Because you'll take <laughs> something that I've told you and you'll take something that somebody told you in confidence and you'll use it, you'll weaponize it against them. That's that, not true. That's what you just did. No. On him. You want me to weaponize you? Because I have things I could actually weaponize you with, and I don't. About. No, but I don't do it. There's certain you things. You just did it. Moses says there's certain things about him I would and never you just say. just threatened me with doing it more. That's because why you're you, so dangerous. You can't do that. No, I didn't. Because you do I that to say, everybody. I know personal things about you, and do I say it? No. You literally just. But Sorry. why do you think that, like, all your friendships, like, a lot of your friendships go I've to shit? I've had friends for so many and years. And all of your boyfriends and relationships. That's what I'm worried boyfriends about Moses is that she's got a Rolodex of all this shit on you. And then, and then when shit goes wrong, she's going to try to ruin shit your fucking life. Shit has gone wrong, and I don't expose stuff I know. Like, Well, like, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Well, you did accuse him of fucking. Listen to what he says right here. Whenever, Remember whenever her and Moses were breaking up, getting back together, all that shit was... Listen to what he says right here. Oh, stuff I know. Like, it's, Well, yes, you did. No, I didn't. Well, you did accuse him of fucking kind of flirting with underage girls. No, that wasn't it. That was not... Well, that was kind of this. fucked up. No, we... You're like, oh, I had a fight. I'm going to accuse him of being with them. Watch your look away and get nervous. And get this person right here never has, you know, shorter words. Watch your, watch your fumble well, the minute he calls this shit out. Accuse him of fucking kind of flirting with underage girls. No, that wasn't it. That was not. Well, that was kind of this. fucked up. No, we... You're like, oh, I had a fight. I'm going to accuse him of being with underage First girls. First I'm not accusing him of everything. The I'm DMs just... were out there. They were publicly put out there. Yeah, All the they, DMs. Yeah, they were... DMs were publicly put out there. With underage First girls. First I'm not accusing him of everything. The I'm DMs just... were out there. They were publicly put out there. Yeah, All the they, DMs. Yeah, they were, they were posted by your alt account. And it had like three likes. <laughs> We know that that wasn't It literally me. had it's three lives. Okay, but anyway, <laughs> conf not confirmed by me. Do you, do you understand who's saying this? People that might know something that is close to this, this moment? This is why you... I mean, just, to, just so we're all clear here. Police. And you can also find that a girl named Morgan is listed as his daughter. So I honestly have no idea where that lie came from because it's something that's extremely easily searchable. I myself have had to look around and been able to confirm there that go. there is TM, the father, MM, which is Morgan, SM, their mother, and their brother, who also has the initials of MM. Let's go on to number two. Morgan is also dead. Now, when you search Morgan's Twitter handle, which is Morgan underscore V underscore redacted, and then go to instagram again you can you can become anyone you want to online if you don't do it's just the reality i don't care about any of that it's not fucking evidence the allegations against mr Rine. Considering and, it, see, and i'm gonna say this here we go members of a damn facebook group do you understand how bad this is to use as your evidence to say you think something legitimately could have happened. It, it's disturbing to me. 
People in Facebook threads don't. Now, there was another receipt that was floating around on social media of a Facebook group where people were discussing Miss. Facebook group who passed away. There are pretty serious allegations made by a famous internet person, which I'm finding it hard to believe considering he was employed in two other schools after Byron. I remember sixth grade, if I remember correctly. There were allegations that he was looking at adult content, maybe worse, question mark, on school computers. The other side I heard I, I side I heard of that was that he was set up by parents that didn't like him for one reason or another with a link to questionable content in an email. Last time I heard anything about this was probably 15 years. This is what she's using as as her look. This is this has nothing up here in the header. And look, this line doesn't go all the way across. And then this just says tenure right here. There's there's nothing up here. This has been blacked out, which is probably where did this shit come from? I have receipts that her dad is who she says he uh, yeah. Who posted this? Did you, Paige? That's weird that you have these people, but you don't have this shit up here. That To me, this right here, the people talking about it, did not corroborate this post up here. This one down here said it, they thought it was an, a parent that set him up. So we're going to look, let's run with that. How about since we're going to go with narratives? of people that are just slinging shit out there on social media platforms. We'll go with the narratives that parents didn't like him and set him up. Is that cool with everybody? Because that's literally why it's important to actually have evidence because anybody can post anything about whatever. And then I'm going to get to this and I'm going to end it because I'm just, I cannot take any more of this shit. This is my issue with this stuff. This is the difference between living in a small town and being held accountable by your community. The city of Byron. I want everybody to pay attention to the population. This city doesn't even have a population of 4,000 people. It's 3,753. And I think this was like the last census. This was 2019, I believe, if I read this correctly. This is the last updated one that I could find. Less than 4,000 people. Okay? 4,000 people. Not even 4,000 people. And I'm bringing this up because this is because Patty Page brings up an article from Chicago and uses that. I, this is what I didn't want to get to. Can I skim? I know she does it. On this post in this very small Byron based Facebook group, there are three members of this group that was infiltrated. So here are what three members of the group that was infiltrated and what they said about Mr. Riney. It's clear to me that something did happen. Look at this. What is this? Oh, it's all blurred out. Oh, yep. That's one of my maybe. So maybe she got a little letter or something sent to her. I was a student. My dad was a decent friend with him and tossed it by a coach. From what I recall from my dad, Charlie opened an email. Charlie opened an email from either a coworker or a friend that had adult content. A student saw it, reported it to their parent. He lost his job. He didn't go on to teach a coach in other districts. He was never inappropriate, ever. He also helped out with women's basketball. Trish Pace was a, very, was a year younger than me in school. And from what I recall, she was mostly homeschooled during her sixth grade year. She talked about that shit, too, where she didn't like school, was pulled out, wanted to go live with her dad in California and shit like that. That was all talked so as about. As you can see, it's kind of a bit of a mixed bag from the group. But I th Yeah, that's why you can't don't believe shit like that. Let's people provide evidence. Oh, shit, this is Look, there, yes, I knew she did. From 2018, Chicago schools failed to protect students from blank and abuse. This is Chicago schools. Okay, so basically what happened was the Chicago Tribune launched an investigation. Into you the cannot. Considering homeschooling online, kind of many Christian families choose. You cannot compare Chicago to Byron. Or you cannot be this daft. Now, this is going to bring up the behind closed like doors in the state of Illinois, most specifically Chicago. They found over 500 cases that weren't being done. This, yeah, this is why you can't compare the two, Byron. 3,753, Chicago. 2.7 million residents. 
Almost 3 million people live in Chicago. Less than 4,000 live in freaking Byron. You don't go to a town with less than 4,000 people in it and not know who your neighbor is, not know who your teachers are, not know who these who to call. You think somebody's going to hurt a kid in that town and parents ain't going to find out about it, come to your house? You are nuts. I live in a town probably four times the size of this, and trust me, we had a teacher in our high school that did some shit, and I'm going to tell you something. He did it for about two weeks, and that man was drug all over the freaking news. Boom. Byron, this is another thing to take into consideration. This, this town has three schools. One's an elementary, one's a middle school, and one's a high school. We paying attention here, folks? Three schools in Byron. What did she do? She pulled an, Argo, an article from Chicago. How many schools does Chicago have? I don't know. There's 12 pages here. Each freaking page has 50 schools on it. 50 schools, 12 pages. What's the last page have? Because let's be let's be uh let's be factual here. Forty one. What's that? Five hundred and ninety. What is it? Five hundred and Eight minus uh, what is it? Five hundred ninety-one schools. Chicago, Chicago list five hundred and ninety-one schools. Byron has three. You, if you maybe you live across the pond, maybe you don't get it how it works here in freaking America. Well, let me just tell you something. This town here is here is Chicago. Here is Byron. Look at how close these, even these schools are together in this tiny little town. It's a pretty big damn town, but it, it must be sparsely populated. Look at look, even the schools are almost on top of one another. Look at this. Well, let's go from your elementary over here to your middle school and high school's right over here. This is just one page of the sugar, and that's the one with the least amount on it. I wish we could see them all at the same time. But you ain't. Look, these are each individual dots of all the schools that are in Chicago. You cannot compare these two. That is the dumbest thing I've ever seen in my life with properly or adequately. There is now a new legislation that came into place in 2019, which they hope will protect students from being abused by Chicago. Them. Chicago, why she used to Chicago for Byron? It's not, I, I live in a small damn town. Trying to compare where I live to Nashville is just being stupid. We have one high school here, one middle school here. One. The te my P let's give you an example. My PE teacher at my elementary school went on to later become a principal of the middle school. These teachers stay in this community and usually until their damn retirement or they'll go like to the next city over. They like stay right close to home because it's, ugh, it's just that, that I think that got under my skin more than anything comparing damn Chicago to Byron. It blew my mind. It blew my mind. And I, I think I'm going to end it there because I just, I, I can't do this. I mean, literally, when she pulled that up, that's the part I was trying to wait to get to because it just freaking, it just, I was like, you can, you cannot be serious. And then if you want to go on to watch it, you, you guys can go watch. It. I'm sure a lot of you've seen it, but this is the part where evidence matters. And maybe I'll shoot up some more videos to show you just how conniving people can be. If you need to see more evidence that people can lie about people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I mean, in, all the way from A-list actors to YouTube influencers to blow Joe down the road. 
make up shit. And again, you got a pet cemetery laying behind you. Maybe, just maybe, you want to take a pause before you listen to anything they have to say. And with that, guys, I bid you do. You got any uh, ideas? Please put them down in the comment section. I have to say too before I go out that uh, I really appreciate the growth here. Man, I get to a thousand subs, uh, and and I'll be ready to go try to do some live live streams but it's been awesome and uh, i thank you guys for the support and um you know if you like it hit the thumbs up i don't want, i don't even mind even negative stuff man it, y'all, it, I'm, i've got some pretty thick skin but y'all have been really great to me so i really appreciate it and with that i'm out of here have a good one peace out